Wake up, we got a shed to do. Oh. Ten Halloween movies, Halloween party. It's the top ten Halloween movies, Halloween party. Oof. Hello and welcome back to the top ten Halloween, Halloween movies, Halloween, Halloween party. party. Yay. Oh, scary! It's Eddie Kruger. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 oh! Tell you what, though, that's good, isn't it? It is good, yeah. I mean, I'm obviously impressed. non-threatening. Bang. Yeah. But, you know. Oh, they're not sharp. Get it, get it, get it, get it. No? <laughs> yeah. No, no, they're not sharp at all. Good prop, though. I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's good, that. Where'd you get it from? Uh, rubber horseplay. Oh! No. Horseplay is like a really old joke shop that's no longer there anymore, obviously. Oh, that's a shame. It's just like a bloody um, office block now. Yeah. You know? sounds, like everything. Sounds about right. Uh, everything that used to be great is now an office block. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not moaning. Anyway, yeah. hello, 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 hiya, and welcome hiya, back. Hiya. Um, yeah. Have uh, a guess what we're talking about today. That's right, it's Dennis the Menace. No, what is it? I always thought that. Dennis the Menace had yeah, the same Dennis thing. Dennis the Menace. Like, but... Uh, I was going to do the whole um, the whole makeup as well, um, but then uh, about an hour ago I realised that I couldn't be asked. Yeah, that's a shame. But uh, I d done it previously. No, I did uh, a couple of weeks a uh, couple of weeks ago. Mm. Obviously not. A couple of years ago on Halloween, um, I was paid a lot of money, like five hundred quid for the night, to compare this uh, Halloween burlesque night, and for some and somehow I was um, allowed to get changed in the same room as these two burlesque women really right what one of them was called one of them was called miss sparkle miss right? sparkle and the other one was called madame massive tits right dead <laughs> out of no, it she wasn't she wasn't but <laughs> madame some, swish I don't, I don't know if they thought that i was gay or some kind of like professional um performer but yeah. i was i was in the room with them as they were getting changed and they were naked for ages because they were spraying each other with glitter naked. But, yeah but they're probably so, they're so used to it it wouldn't matter who was in the changing room. Honestly, they would talk about their boyfriends and periods and all sorts of yeah. crap, you know. But they were you just there in the corner like that? I was just trying to put my makeup on that. <laughs> and obviously, they were putting their headdresses on first and all that stuff and dressing yeah. downwards. <laughs> God Almighty, it was a brilliant Halloween. Yeah, that and sounds good. God bless the burlesque dancers; they were fantastic. And you were dressed like this. Yeah, but I had the full-on makeup thing. It was, you know, I spent ages doing it, and then just before I went to the burlesque night, I went into the co-op. In full, <laughs> in full Kruger, yeah. and crept up behind this woman that was shopping. What was I doing? Could have killed her. Yeah. And I went ah, and she was so scared, <laughs> she flew back into the milk freezer, and milk just went everywhere, and I just legged it. If there was a CCT camera on, I'd, I'd love to have seen it. That sounds great. Honestly, can you uh, imagine just turning around and seeing yeah, Freddy Krueger, proper there. Freddy, like that. Ah! <laughs> you know, she might have had some terrible deep. Yeah, some sort of heart condition. Deep memory of, of, yeah. of it. That's to this to day, death. she's never been back in a car. <laughs> she's still in therapy. Oh, but, uh, but anyway, yes, uh, I love Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. The original Nightmare on Elm Street or the remake? Oh, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Yeah, that was poor. No, no, no. The original, the original 1984. Absolutely version. brilliant. 1984, directed by Wes Craven. Oh, absolutely. Wes Craven, brilliant. Yeah, great film. Probably, maybe, uh, is it his best film? He did, he did the original Hills of Eyes that I love. Uh, I yes. really love it. Did, um, did, they do the, did he do the People Under the Stairs as well? Yeah, he did People yeah. Under the Stairs. Yeah. He did He did the uh, Last House of the Left, the original, not the remake. He was going to say that now. Which is a, a real good film, but it, uh, I, can't, I can't watch it. It's too it's too much. It's too upsetting. So that Are you one, talking about the original or the, the newest one? The original Last House. Yeah, oh. the newest one I can't watch because it's shit. Ah. The original I can't watch because it's almost too good. It's too powerful. It's oh, I see what you mean. Really, oh, it, it really it gets loses under my skin. It's fantasy. It's more worrying. Really gets under my skin. Oh yeah, the original Last House on the Left. Yeah, we yikes. But Nightmare on Elm Street was Nightmare on Elm Street was sort of the moment when he went from being this sort of um, independent horror director to mainstream. It just takes that guy. one idea that just catches on. Yeah, and Freddy Krueger caught on big time. Yeah, but. You say that one idea, but what's the synopsis of the film for people who haven't seen it? Eddie Kruger. Wow. Uh, okay. Well, uh, yes, it's about what well, it's. It's about this town, Elm Street, or is it about a street? I don't know. Town. I think street? it might be a street. Might be a street. Clues uh, in the name. Well, it's all about this. Um, <laughs> it sort of dates back to a long time ago when there was this man, this loner, this strange man that lived in this town. Yes. Yeah. He's a he's a nonce. Yeah, he's like a, a killer of kids and all that kind yeah. of stuff. And the whole town 
you know, burn him alive. They kill him. Yeah. Uh, but obviously... The parents, he, isn't it? The parents of the yeah, kids. The par yeah, the parents. So they totally and utterly get him, burn him alive, kill him, gone. But yeah. he's not, obviously. He's not. He comes back in their dreams. <laughs> well, their kids' dreams, basically. Yeah. And, Gets uh, revenge by killing the kids. I know, that's a bit weird, isn't it? And yet, for some reason, we love him. Yeah. That crusty, <laughs> scarred pedo. Although, I suppose in the first film, he's, he's not... He's, he's much more of a serious, nasty character than he is in the, you know, the sequels. He becomes more and more and more of a joke character. Yes. In the first film, he's not that funny. Uh, no, well, no, he's not. And it's not really, there's not a lot of jokes. He doesn't do his yeah. ready quips and all that stuff. Yeah. He's just going, ah! You always said you wanted to be on TV! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, the, the first one is a bit more sinister. And yeah. then obviously, as time goes on, he becomes a caricature. Yeah. Do you want to know the first time I watched A Nightmare on Elm Street? I was, must have been about... 12 or yeah, something like me that me too definitely and um, sister's in-law had it on on the TV during the day right in the house and I just was just there and so this film's just on TV and I was just like ah. <laughs> and it was the bit when the girl's in bed and he's attacking her in her dream and then her chest just get, like, gets like cut know, yeah. and then she's going up and she's on the, going up the wall and she's on the ceiling fuck that uh, that disturbed me so much. I was yeah. so so scared it was years and years before I watched it before I watched it again and I don't think anything else in the film is quite as scary as that but that is that is a, an unpleasant scene yeah that was Yowzers. an unpleasant scene but that wasn't the scene that scared me when I was like 12 as well it was when um, she's dreaming about her friend and she's like a ghost yeah. and she's like just like that and that weird centipede just like comes out of her mouth oh yeah that's scary as well and there's a scary bit when in her friend the one that dies Oh, the one that dies in the scene I was talking about when yeah. she's in like a polythene bag in the school and her legs go like that and she slides away. Yeah. It's like, oh, yikes. Yeah. Like, nightmare stuff, as the name suggests. Absolutely, yeah. It was really scary. Yeah. Uh, Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp. Yeah, yeah, Johnny Depp. That was his first outing, wasn't it? Or was that because he did 21 Jump Street? Yeah, he'd done, he'd done his TV series, but I think that was his big break in films. When he was good looking and normal-ish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know he gets I mean? sucked into the bed. Yeah, and then he's got like a water bed, doesn't out. he? And it go, he goes into the yeah, water he gets, bed. Yeah, he pulls him in, and then this big <laughs> fountain goes out. Yeah. How many times must they have done a set of the bedroom and turned it upside down? Yeah, <laughs> like in every single one. Yeah. It's like but, we got we got a bedroom here that goes upside down. Let's use it for yeah. every murder. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's in one of the sequels when a kid gets sucked into the water bed because oh. then the mum pulls the sheet off the bed and he's there like that. Yeah. Floating about in the water. I don't know, the sequels, once you've seen the sequels, it's hard to go back and watch the original Nightmare on Elm Street and they have the same impact because they just water Freddy Krueger down so much. The, yeah. Although the third one's brilliant. Have you seen that? Um, Dream Warriors. Oh, God. That's, a, that's such an 80s name, isn't it? Dream Warriors. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's good, though. It's got Patricia Arquette in it. Oh. Uh, is that the one when he's got, a, the pizza's got all their faces going, ah, I think it is, ah, yeah. And goes like that. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> like the weirdest killings ever. Yeah, yeah. There's a bit when a guy—it's quite gross. The guy's veins get pulled out, and he's playing him like a puppet. Yes, I got told off by my mum for showing my sister that. <laughs> yeah, when all his entrails are coming out, it's like that. Oh. <laughs> that is a bit—that is a bit stomach churning, isn't it? That's pretty gross. And do you know where he got the idea from? Wes Craven for Nightmare on Elm Street. It was he read a newspaper story about soldiers from like Vietnam and places like that who'd come over to America. And they were so traumatised, they had post-traumatic stress disorder and stuff like that from what they'd seen so bad, that some of them were literally just died in their sleep. They just went to sleep and they didn't wake. And really? he was wow. like that. Mm. And that's where he got the idea from, from Nightmare on Elm Street. Wow. Getting rich off other people's absolute terrors. That's true, isn't it? Yeah, see, wow. that's what we need to do. Next time we read a tragic, you know, newspaper story like that, uh, 15 burnt alive in orphanage. Oh, no. Hmm. Ah... Hello, is that Hollywood? <laughs> oh. So the way it works. Yeah. Oh, anyway, yes. Uh, yeah, brilliant. The whole franchise is fantastic. And is Freddy Krueger... Not all of it. Some of it's crap. Well, no, the, the reboot. What the fuck was that? Yeah, and part two was crap. Part two was crap. Um, is it... What's the one where it's 3D? Um, there's one with... I think it's the last one. Freddy is dead. And at the end, she sticks like a bit of dynamite in him. And he goes, oh god, yeah, kids, yeah. and then explodes in like three D, and it's just like, oh, no, what has <laughs> happened here? But then Wes Craven kind of redeemed the franchise because he did um, New Nightmare. Oh yes, which yes, was, which was pretty good. Yeah, and it was like, it was based in the real world, 
with the actress in the real world. That's right. Yeah. With which, actual Robert England in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then one. Freddy Krueger comes was... into the real world. I forgot all about that one. Yeah. And then, of course, they did the remake that you made reference to that was Total Crap. Oh, no, they did Freddy versus Jason. Have you seen that? I kind of enjoyed it. I loved it. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I loved it. I know it's rubbish, but it was it was entertaining. Yeah, no, I loved it. Yeah. And at the end, when he's like carrying his head like <laughs> through hell, he's like, oh, oh dear, yeah. <laughs> my head's off. <laughs> Two tough. unkillable evil people fighting each other. Yeah. And just forever. Yeah, no, it is, it is, that is an entertaining film. Crap, but, but entertaining. Uh, I'll tell you what, one part of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street that hasn't um, aged well, and it's something that people, I always see people um, bringing it up when the film gets mentioned on horror sites and stuff. It's the very last scene, and the kids get in the car. Oh yeah! And as they're driving away, like the Freddy Krueger bonnet comes up like that, and it's like, hee hee hee. and the mum's there, like, oh no! And then suddenly, like the door, his hands burst through the door and pull her in. But it's so obviously like a, a blow up doll. It's like a shot mannequin. Or yeah, something. it's her legs are like rubbery like that. <laughs> It's just not even remotely convincing. Straight through the little window, isn't it? The little yeah. round window. I can't believe they shot that, watched it back and gone, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> yeah, I thought they probably did that's say that. Our, that's our closing shot. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I don't know what was going on there, um, but but the rest of the film holds up. Oh, no, it's, it's brilliant. Film. The, the fact that, that the mum going through the window at the end is so bad yeah. is almost a relief at the end. It's like that. I don't have to be scared now because that was too funny. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, maybe maybe that was the point. Oh, what's the name of the actress that plays the mum in it? She's really good. She does a great scene when she's um, pissed and she confesses the whole thing to the daughter of what they did. Um, oh. oh, and I've forgotten as well another scary moment, just totally randomly, Go when she's it. on the phone. Oh, on, on the, the tongue. Phone, and the tongue is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great props. You know, long live Robert England. Yeah. Oh, didn't um, you say they're playing a new one? I heard, but it might be internet bullshit like the whole internet is but mm -hmm. um, apparently he's signed up to reprise the Freddy Krueger character Ooh. if that's wrong uh, let me know but I hope it's true on that note yeah I hope you've enjoyed our Freddy fun chat <laughs> Freddy no we can't we can't one uh, our Freddy, Freddy fun our Sheddy Krueger chat <laughs> I got there at the end. <laughs> we should have put it there. The video, Fred. The video, Fred. Oh. In, just imagine that says the video, Fred. The video, Fred. Fred. Pretend it said the video, Fred. Yeah. Uh, join us next time. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to our yeah. page. Uh, yeah. I keep forgetting to say that, but I'm hoping you're going to do it anyway because we're so good. Yeah. The idea is we don't have to tell you to do it. You, you just do it. You should just know. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, yeah, please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>